Pokey Duck. So the first thing we discuss in terms of setting up to the golf ball, how we hold the club, left hand's got to go on first there, gripping that club, basically underneath the ring there, okay? If you're gripping up in the palm, it's very hard for your wrist to hinge. So the swing we're going to make on the right hand side one now, we can't make it because the wrists aren't able to hinge up correctly. So left hand's got to go on first always, then your right thumb covers your left. If you're trying to put your left thumb into your right, It'll never get in there. It's just always a bit of a sort of shove in there. And you sort of, well, that kind of feels okay. It's not going to work okay. So get the left hand on first, making sure the club face, see how that club face is twisted there? So the difference in those two club faces? Yeah. This one now is facing straight, and we've actually got now the full angle of the club. This one now sort of turned down and going to be aiming a bit to the left there, okay? Yeah. So make sure that club sits on top. We said the writing on the shaft there. You can't see the writing on here, but the writing on the shaft would be directly on top when the club is straight. If I turn the writing on here now, so that purple writing, if I turn that to the left, you can see the club face down there is doing this twisting that you've got there on that left hand image, okay? So club straight, left hand grip in the fingers, right thumb covering, okay? Now your swing thought, okay, to try and hinder it. If you look at the left hand swing here now, when you went back, you were just swinging your arms and the club was going back so far, which is fine. This is the first thing we were trying to do. This right hand one now as we go back, we can see you're creating what we look for is kind of a L position, okay? And you've got that absolutely perfectly, hence why the shots you were hitting were pretty perfect, okay? I mean, you're in an eight iron there, about 80 yards, first ever golf lesson, which yeah. is phenomenal, okay? Oh. Most people, if they get past that red flag, they're chuffed. Oh, right. okay, it's on the ground, but yeah. <laughs> that's how far they did, okay? So from that position there now, as you come back to the golf ball, lovely strike. The good thing, there's not much sort of variables in terms of your thing. You sort of rotate and rotate, Hinging the wrist there, and that's the only swing thought. A nice hinge of the wrist. That strike position there is fantastic. There's so is many, it? honestly, I mean, <laughs> and honest to God, really? you can show your partner here and you can show these swings here, and he will look at that strike point, okay? Yeah. Hands just leading in front of the club there, okay? Really good. Posture's been maintained. You're shifting your weight now onto that left side. This leg is starting to sort of kick in a little bit, which is great. And when you swing through, there's a twist through. Your head doesn't stay down, which is a good thing. It rotates through and follows the golf ball. Often guys, when husbands or partners or whatever friends teach people to play golf, they keep your head down, keep your head down. Worst thing you can try and do, okay? Your head is naturally coming up, which is what it wants to do. People get told, keep your head down, and you end up trying to bend it and just hurt yourself, not careful. So all the things you're doing there, I've got to say, and I'm just saying this for the sake of the lesson, are brilliant, okay? Very, very pleasing and very surprising, okay? I'll be honest, okay? I, my expectations are kind of sort of in the middle somewhere. Some below that, you've exceeded that by miles, okay? And the fact you're swinging the golf club that far back, Hitting an eight iron, 70 or 80 yards is just unreal. Oh. Okay, so the focus, as we said, just to summarise there in terms of the lesson, left hand grip in the fingers. Okay, yeah. your left wrist is on top of the wedge ring. There's going to sort of show you where the grip's going to be. Okay, your right thumb covers the left. Okay. Once you've got that, then okay, feet as wide as your shoulders as you had. The only swing though, is just to get those wrists to hinge that club. Once those wrists hinge up everything happens you haven't got to worry about trying to do any other thing if you hit the ground behind the ball or hit the top of the ball just step away from the ball have a couple of practice swings and go back to doing what you know you can do some of the shots there, I say 7 to 80 yards in 8 time unbelievable what I would suggest if you hit a bad one I'm going to get bad shots that's part of my I mean 12 handicap part he's going to hit some bad shots okay we just hit bad shots okay it's how you react to it some of the shots you hit where you hit the top of the golf ball and it went a bit low the next one you hit the ground more you hit the ground big time behind the boys almost get lower to try and react okay don't react to previous shots just sort of step to one side hinge and hinge and switch the club and then step to the golf ball hinge and whack okay but i've got to say very very oh, good good. Any questions on what we've been through no, in terms no, of the lesson? Yeah, no, it kind of makes yeah, sense there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It's a couple of things to work on. It is just practice. The left hand grip, in fairness, you've got pretty quickly. Okay. Yeah. It's something you sort of get there. You can hold that club. One thing I would say take a bit longer is the club wanting to sort of twist this way. Just make sure that club sits down nice and straight. Once you kind of learn and realise what the club looks like when it's going straight, it becomes sort of second nature. Should I practice? I've got quite a big garden. Should I More, I would say. Well, as long as. 80 yards big then you're okay but yeah, yeah. I mean, if it's even from here to there you can just do some small little sort of what we call the Y swing just your arms back and through to practice contact on the golf ball absolutely fine yeah I'd recommend doing that by all means yeah so okie dokie then yeah great